then thank you so much, Erich, for, for joining me today. I'm uh, very happy to have you here and talk about your Catalyst proposal. But before we start with that, do you want to maybe give me and the audience a very quick introduction into yourself and how you got into, into crypto, of course, and um, yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, pleasure to, to speak with you as well. Um, so yeah, I, I'm Eric Schutz. I'm one of the uh, founders of Kata Station. Uh, my journey into crypto has been a strange one. Um, I think it was about 10 years ago, maybe a bit less than that, where I initially joined. And um, it was mostly from a financial game perspective. So I think I joined for very wrong reasons. I uh, put up some money in some very small coins. I think it was called Yield Coin at the time. Um, just waited for a couple of years to see what would happen and then lost all of my money. And then I kind of shut myself out completely from the crypto space. Um, I did come back again um, about five years ago, at uh, this time from a different perspective. It was all from seeing the tech and what the tech can actually do. And I think that was a much healthier uh, perspective uh, in crypto. So Cardano was the first one that I actually looked into. Um, I was compared with Ethereum and Solana and a few others. Uh, but there are so many different things from Cardano that I, I love that I actually started writing smart contracts um, about it. So I joined the Plutus Pioneer program uh, with Lars that I went through. Um, I think it was a 10-week program where we actually wrote a DEX um, at the end of it, uh, which was amazing to do in such a short space of time. And then decided to take his ideas uh, with my founder as well, Ralph, and decided to uh, build an open and metaverse within the Cardano ecosystem. And we've been building on it um, for the last year and a half or so. That sounds really interesting. And uh, if you joined 10 years ago for the very first time, that's a, that's a very long time ago. So it's, it's great that you're back. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I came back because, yeah, there's so much <laughs> opportunity and so many things you can actually do with this tech that um, I think yeah, lots of us should, should be looking into it. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about, um, first, about your project, of course. Uh, I think a lot of, of the viewers will already know it. Uh, it's quite, quite popular in Cardano. Um, but then also, of course, about the proposal and what you actually want to achieve with it. Uh, yes. Uh, so the car station with, that I mentioned before is a metaverse that's built um, on the moon. And so we're going with the sci-fi effect where we believe if you have this freedom to have an open world where you can pretty much do anything at all, um, it would make sense to do something that we probably wouldn't do in our lifetime. It's why we base our metaverse on a real life um, location on the moon where you can go and experience what it's like. Um, but with any metaverse, of course, you can own your piece of it and start um, to showcase anything that you want at the moment. Um, it's live. I should have mentioned at the beginning. Uh, we are still in pre-alpha, so there's um, quite a lot of features that we're slowly rolling out as we keep improving the platform. And by the moment, you can put up some NFT billboards and you can build your own um, structures as well, put that on your lands, and then um, showcase those to anyone who's roaming around in our um, public web-based metaverse. Yeah, I, what I really like about this is, uh, you know, you're one of the few metaverses that are actually just going out there and delivering and always uh, releasing some stuff um, instead of just raising a lot of money and then building in quiet. You know, I'm, I'm the type of guy who just uh, likes shipping fast and iterating often. Yeah, that's been exactly our philosophy from the very beginning. Uh, so before even our very first landings, uh, we had an open world. Um, it was single player, but at least you could walk around and see what it's like, get an experience of it before deciding um, that this is something you want to get involved in and then minting a piece of plots. And we've continued our philosophy since a year and a half ago, and it's what we still do. Um, so we've rolled out features every month, every quarter. Uh, it's now multiplayer, you can have vehicles, um, you can buy some in-game in um, goods as well inside the metaverse. Uh, you can have chats, voice chat. There's so many different features that keep coming as we keep building. We've got it got us to our pre-alpha version. We want to keep doing that into our alpha, our beta, and then finally into a, a public launch. Perfect. Great. So tell me, tell me more about uh, your catalyst proposing building on NMaker. What's what's the idea? Uh, yes. Um, so. Our, our, the way we've built our metaverse is um, we want to focus on the front layer of it and, and not the infrastructure. There are other people who are doing really, really good stuff on the infrastructure level. And NPR is a, a really good example of that. Um, so the NFT integrations that we have, we are using NPR at the, behind it to ensure people can use the NFTs within our um, front end, which is the virtual world. And what our proposal is looking to do is to take that further where People who are using NPR to mint, they put it on their websites, and on their website, they can um, display 
what they want to display, their projects, their NFTs, their information, and we can go in and just go ahead and mint from there. Um, it, it's a really good, nice step, uh, first step, but we also want to give people the option of minting in a virtual environment because outside of PFPs, um, gaming and metaverse is um, the next biggest use cases of NFTs. And to ensure people can actually see their NFTs in an environment where they are going to be used in, it will be great if creators can have these NFT drops inside a metaverse or inside a virtual world. Users can go in, look at them inside a the game as well, see what it would be like, and then actually make an informed decision of, um, okay, this is an NFT I would like to use, um, I would like to purchase, and then make that purchase in-game without ever leaving that experience. Um, so pretty much replicating the experience of doing it on website and then doing it in a, a 3D immersive experience. I I personally think that's a really good idea um, because you know many pro many people that are building websites are basically thinking about this whole concept of how 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 big is the conversion rate of the people that actually come to my website and that actually mint NFTs or do something like the intended purpose of, of the website, right? And uh, I think there have been studies that if this is in a 3D environment as well, the conversion rate is a lot higher. And I think it makes sense because you can just display the goods and the actual benefit of, of participating in the, in the product that you're selling in a way um, better in the 3D environment. So it's kind of, it's a, it's a really cool use case. And um yeah, I, I, yeah. I hope uh, the vote goes well for you. Yeah, thanks, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Uh, because on a website, you are kind of limited on the experience you can give. Uh, you can add some interface, some, some color, some sound maybe, but in a 3D experience, uh, you can have even spatial sound. You can have other people there with you asking them questions about, oh, are you, what do you think of this NFT? So it's kind of like a more social experience of, of Minton. Uh, and that's why uh, we think this would be a really good um, proposal. Great. Then um, we're almost at the end already. So do you have any like last points, anything super important that you want uh, people to go, go away with and really understand about your proposal? Uh, I guess all you can say is we are live in pre-alpha. Um, so you can go and have a look at the metaverse to see what that looks like to give you a better idea of um, what the integration would look like once we have this um, solution built. Um, and you can also see the capability of the team that's behind it. Um, so this is what we built already. And then um, by having this proposal funded, we will be able to build on top of it, provide these capabilities to any um, independent artist within Cardano who wants to go through the, with this approach and then um, ensure, yeah, you can actually have these NFT drops within a, a virtual environment. Perfect. Then thank you so much for your time, Erich. And it was a pleasure having you. Cool. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Patrick. Uh, it was a pleasure being here.